Remember the time when you wanted more. Remember the time when there were people in your life that did not believe in you. Remember the time when you honestly gave up on the possibilities of the uniqueness that you had inside. Remember there was a time that you complained so much, but yet did so little. There comes to a point in your life that you must recognize that there's a little bit more that has to be done than just complaining about it. You have to realize that you don't have any other opportunities waiting for you if you're not willing to work for the first opportunity that's been given to you. You don't have a lot of time left. So there's no reason to complain. You're not even in a position to complain. You have to figure out that there has to be another idea about you and you have to understand that there has to be something even greater and more challenging waiting for you. And if you're not willing to step outside of your comfort zone, if you're not willing to understand the principles and the possibilities that you have within yourself, then everything that you are thriving for, everything that you are hungry for, will soon come to an end. Now I'm not here to preach to you about this. I'm here to let you know that there are things that are going on around you right now that are far greater than your complaining. You complaining about so much, but yet you show no action. If you could trade places with someone right now and the person that you are trading places with may have it just a little bit tougher then you have it going on in your life right now. So many people are suffering from so many things in this world at this moment. But yet you're complaining. So many people in this world right now wish they could trade places with you. But yet you're still complaining. You don't have that right to just give up. You don't have that right to just throw in the towel and say that it's over for you. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to understand that the reason that you are existing in this world right now is because you have things that must be done and only certain people are qualified to take it to the level that it needs to be taken to. For there should never be a limitation to wherever it is that you are seeking and how far you are willing to travel and how far you are willing to go. Sometimes people tend to get a little lazy. Sometimes people like to put themselves in this little bitty box and just say that they are okay with where they are. There can never just be an okay to anything when it comes to that life. There should never just be a complacent mindset. How do we evolve? How do you evolve? How do you grow? One thing about success, there are gonna be many struggles. There are gonna be many challenges. And there are gonna be a lot of things that you may not even understand. But you got to go back to where it started. Remember when you wanted more. Because you cannot satisfy your hunger with negative energy. Being negative doesn't help you to grow. Being doubtful doesn't give you the power that you need. You have to come to a point in your life that you must realize that there are things that are going on 
that is testing you. And maybe you may be in a position where you feel that you are broken or you feeling that you're going to be broken. But I'm here to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that you are built to last. I'm here to let you know that you don't have the right to complain anymore. I'm here to let you know that you got to keep on living and living on strong. I dare you to take a trip to your local hospital. And if you have an opportunity to walk down those corridors and witness so many different people, different age groups, different ethnicities, and each one of these individuals are fighting something, they're dealing with some type of sickness. And some of these sicknesses, they may not be able to recover from. I dare you to walk down a neighborhood where there are many people that are homeless and have no place to go, no food to eat, barely even have clothes on their backs. I dare you to realize that maybe you just don't have it so bad after all. Maybe it's time for you to realize and recognize that your troubles are not that bad. Maybe it's time that you realize that you need to get away from the drama that's in your life. Maybe it's time for you to stop chasing misery and start chasing your dreams. Reconnect with yourself. Because this is not the time for you to be wasting putting yourself back instead of pushing yourself forward. Ladies and gentlemen, you have so much, so much to offer, so much to give, so much to do, but doing it and sitting around waiting for it to happen it's just going to stay in neutral. You have to electrify the desire that you have, that you once had. So the next time you feel like complaining, you feel like worrying, and you're so concerned about other things that doesn't necessarily concern you, ask yourself, is it making you better? Is it taking you higher? Are you going further? Or are you just being complacent? Complacent and complaining and worrying and doing things that are not better for you. Are you going to realize that maybe just going up that mountain does take a little bit more work than just having something handed to you? Are you gonna be that person that realize that if and when you get to the top of the mountain, it don't just stop there. You got to figure out another way to go even higher. You have to electrify and get all the things that are necessary within you to start doing the things that you need to do so when the time comes, you can kick down that door and move towards the possibilities of being the best of who you really are. Don't lose yourself and the things that's not going to give you the strength and the capacity of understanding that you matter for something. Don't lose yourself in fear. Don't lose yourself in doubt. Dare yourself to be better. Dare yourself to be unique. Dare yourself to be the best possibility that the world has yet to see.